Go ahead and write down the answer. Or at least, at least think of the answer. I'll give you a moment to do that. You have one ready? Did you write down 14? 1, 4, 14? Well, I hate to break it to you, but if you wrote 14 down, you got tricked. Now, I know some of you are thinking, well, hold on, Mr. Melham. How can, how can I have gotten tricked? Because look, 4 plus 3 is 7, and then 7 times 2 is 14. How is that possibly wrong? Well, the purpose of this lesson is you're going to learn that whenever you solve a math equation, the order that you solve it in makes a big difference, and it, it matters. You have to be very conscious of it. So what order do we have to follow? Well, that's simple. You just follow this. It's called bed mass. B-E-D-M-A-S. Remember bed mass. B stands for brackets, and brackets are just parentheses. They look like this. So if you see brackets in an equation, go right away to the brackets. There's going to be numbers inside. Solve them first before you do anything else. Exponents, we're not going to be looking at too much. But if there are any exponents, like 2 to the power of 3, for example, you do those after the brackets. And 2 to the power of 3 is just 2 times 2 times 2. 8. Division and multiplication, since they're the same color, you have to do them next but in the order that they appear. So you look at the equation left to right. If division comes first, you do it first. If multiplication comes first, you do that first. Okay, so just because the D is ahead of the M, that doesn't mean you do division before multiplication. You just do them in the order that they appear left to right. After you've done that, the last thing you do is addition and subtraction in the order that they appear, which is why they're the same color. So if subtraction appears first, you do subtraction first. Now, for those of you who got 14 as an answer, what you did was the mistake you made was you added before you multiplied, where in the bed mass system, you have to multiply first. So we have to actually multiply these two. We get six, and then we write the plus four here beside it. And then the last step, after you're done the multiplication, now you can do addition, and that's going to be 10. So the right answer to this equation is... 10. Let's do this one here. We've got this long equation. We've got our bed mass system. Now, I know some of you are probably thinking right now, well, Mr. Melham, do we use bed mass for every equation or just sometimes? That's a great question if you're thinking about that. We have to use bed mass every time we receive an equation. Any, t any equation you see, even if it's 1 plus 1, you still use bed mass. However, there are none of these things, none of the B, E, D, M, A, it's just addition, right? There's no subtraction. So the only thing we see is addition, but we still have to follow this system here. Now, what do we do here? What do we have? Well, we have brackets first. Are there any brackets in the equation? Yeah, there is. There's a bracket here. So I'm going to underline it. And you do the same too. And the sheet in front of you, I want you to underline this here. And then write the answer down. No calculators allowed. You've already learned how to subtract decimal values. If you do that, you're going to get 3.8. I won't show you how I got 3.8. If you don't know how to subtract decimals, I just suggest you go back to those subtraction lessons and relearn it. So I'm going to change the color just so it's more visible on a smart board screen in a lit up room. So we have 3.8. Now, what do we do after we write 3.8? Do we just go straight to, well, there's no exponent. So do we just go straight to the division? Not yet. Write down everything else beside the 3.8. And do it like this. So beside it here, we have a 2. So we only solved the brackets. That's all we did. Now everything else beside the brackets just sits down there. So we're going to write plus 3. And then on the other side, we'll put our division sign. And 3.8. And then 4. Now I know some of you are, are, are probably thinking as well, like, look, there's parentheses here, Mr. Melham. Don't we have to solve this? That 4? You know what? That Those are parentheses. But look inside. Is there an equation? Like here, there was subtraction, right? Here, what is there? There's nothing. So it's just a number in brackets. Well, that's kind of funny. Why did they put that number in brackets? It's another good question. That's because we're multiplying these two. If you have two numbers separated by a bracket, that means we're multiplying them. Well, why didn't they just put the multiplication sign, Mr. Melham? Well, that's just another way of doing it. Now, what do we do? division and multiplication in the order that they appear. Okay, let's go left to right. What happens first? Okay, we have multiplication here. I'm going to underline it and you do the same. And division comes after it. Remember the order that they appear is the order that you do it in. So we're going to do the multiplication first. And if we multiply these, what are we going to get? We are going to get 
7.6. So write 7.6. I'm done with this one. Now I write everything else beside it. Go ahead and do that. Division goes here. We have a 3.8 bracket. And we're going to multiply that by 4. Okay, now what's next? Okay, well, we're not done the division multiplication. There's still more division multiplication. Division is next, so we will solve it. We'll solve it next. What's 7.6 divided by 3.8? No calculators. 2. Go back to the division lesson if you're not sure how I got that. No calculators. We're going to put a plus 3 here. So we're done this one. And now, okay, we're going to put the 4 here. And we have the 3 went down there. This here becomes 2. And then the 4 sits there. Now what do we have? Okay, we're done all. We have multiplication left. So that's going to make 8. Put the plus 3 beside it. And then add these, you're going to get 11. So we're done this 2 times 4. We're going to get 8 like that. So it's important you underline and then cross out as you go along just to make sure that you're not writing any unnecessary numbers down. You will also see some problem solving scenarios with this bed mass system we're working on. Here we have you and your three friends, so we have four people all together, bought $100 worth of donuts and then sold them for $320. Sort of like a bake sale, right? You buy something for one price and then you sell it for more to make money for a field trip or something like that. And then we're asked to write an equation and then solve it. So we have to write the equation, we have to write the equation, and then we have to solve the equation to show the pro how the profits would be split between the four of you. So what's a profit? It's, it's the difference, right? Like if I bought something for $2 and I sold it for $5, the profit's going to be what? From two to five, that's $3 profit because five take away two is three. That's how much money I've made. Okay. It's the surplus on a certain amount of money. So here we have a, f a few things going on here. We have to figure out the profit. Now the profit's going to be, and, and let's write bed mass too. Our profit is going to be $320 subtracted by $100. So this is our dollar figure. We have to subtract these amounts to get the profit. And then after we do that, it says we have to split the money between four people. What's the equation for split? Is it addition, subtraction, multiple? No, it's none of those. It's division. Division means to split things up or to share them. So you're going to share this money between four people. So we're going to have to divide by four. But what do we do first? Do we, do we subtract first or should we divide first? Well, the way I wrote it down right now, we have to divide 100 divided by four. But that makes no sense because we have to divide the profit by four. You have to figure out the profits first. But since the profit is subtraction, it's way down here. We're not allowed to do it first yet unless we do something to this equation. This. Yes. Now we're allowed to do the profit solution. This is going to get us the profit. And once we get the profit, right away, we divide it by four. So what's the profit now going to be? Profit's going to be $220, right? So $220 when you subtract them divided by the four people. Okay, so we have our four people. So we're going to divide this and each person will get $55. So you could use long division to do that. Um, you can use, uh, if you could do it with, if you could just try numbers out, you could do that. Long division would be the fastest way. And you're going to get $55 as your answer. The last question in bed mass involves Sally buying lunch for her friends. Nice friend she is. In a good way. She ordered one order of chicken wings for $4.99. Okay, so let's keep track of what she ordered. And let's show our bed mass. Because we're probably going to be needing it. So what did she buy? She bought one order of chicken wings for $4.99. So go ahead and write down. Chicken. So we'll write, we'll write wings. Wings. We're going to write one times $4.99. She got only one order. Three hamburgers at $6.24. So let's write. Ham, just right. Ham. She got how many? She got three. So three times six dollars and twenty four cents. Now she got more stuff too. She got seven chocolate cake desserts for eight dollars and twenty one cents. 
Seven cakes. Okay, so I'll write cake. And that is going to be seven times 821. Go ahead and write that. Write all of this down. Now it asks us to write an expression for the total cost. We want the total cost here. So the total cost of the food that Sally bought. The total is going to be what? What are we going to have to do with all these numbers? We're going to have to add them all up. So go ahead and write one long equation. We're going to write 1 times 499 plus 3 times 624 plus 7 times 821. Oh, yeah. Now we got this down. We got our big equation. If you got this, you can give yourself a mark. Actually, you know what? You can give yourself a mark for writing the information down and then give yourself a mark for writing your equation down. Now, what do we? What else do we have left? We have to just add them up. So we're going to go, well, not add them up, but we have to solve this. So following this order, do we have any brackets? No, we didn't have any need to put any brackets. Exponents aren't there. We don't have any division. We just have multiplication and then addition. So we have to do this one first. And then after we're done all of those, we're going to do the addition last. So let's solve this here. We have 1 times 499. Okay, let's scratch it out and put the answer. That's just 499. Now we have 3 times 624. And then we're going to multiply these two and we get $18.72. If you forgot how to multiply decimal numbers without a calculator, go back and watch those videos again. And then we multiply, so we can scratch this out. Oh, and we have a plus sign to go between them. And now we're going to write our plus sign and we're going to multiply these two and scratch it out. And that just makes $57.47. Now we just have addition left. And all we have to do is just stack these numbers, line up your decimals when you stack them. And if you stack them all and solve it, you're going to get $81.18.